everybody, my name is Haley and welcome to Haley's Home. Today I have a little bit of a different video, but I'm excited to share. This is something that has been on my to-do list for a long time, like five years long time. <laughs> what it is, is I am going to preserve my wedding dress. And I feel like this might be a good video because others like me who have not preserved their wedding dress might be interested. So I'll show you who I decided to go with. When I was doing my research, I found a bunch of different options online for preserving a wedding dress, but this is one that really sparked my interest. And this is who I decided to go with was weddinggownpreservationkit.com. Now the reasons why were a few different reasons. So as you can see, they have a bunch of different options. You can just, you can get celebrity, which they put your little picture down there. It is more expensive, um, but they will put your name, your wedding date, that sort of thing. Um, they have the traditional, which is the option that I decided to go with. Gowns that are less than 20 years old, badly yellowed, stained, um, have issues. They can add on this restoration kit um, to your preservation kit, which I think is neat. Mine is not dirty per se. It would be or they're going to clean it, but it doesn't have any stains or spots or yellowing. So um, I did not go with the restoration. And then there is a clean only option. As I mentioned, traditional is the one that I use. So we're going to click on that. So the traditional option, it is $249 and it usually ships within six to eight weeks. So free, secure two way, $500 insured shipping of your dress. Include up to five accessories such as veil, garter, etc. Preserve them free. Next, they have a delicate fabric t cleaning technology. So before they preserve it, they will clean the dress. A hundred year anti-yellowing guarantee and a gown tracker. So peace of mind, they will track the gown throughout the process. One unique thing about my dress in particular is that it is actually my mother's dress. And so it is an older gown. And I wanted to make sure that when I get it preserved that they can have a delicate cleaning system. And I called them actually to double check this. I told them it's lace. I told them that it's older and that it's actually a legacy gown. And they said that is no problem at all. Another unique feature about my dress is that it had been altered and my mother had a super long train and I had it shortened for my wedding. And there is a bunch of fabric that I will show you. One thing that I really wanted was that they could include that in the um, preserving process just so I have it all together in one place and they said that they can do that with no extra charge so I don't have a veil um, I actually borrowed my sister's veil when I got married I don't have a garter that I I want to keep um, so really those five accessory accessories will be counted as that extra fabric one other fun thing that I want to note is that you can also purchase this through Amazon. So if you would prefer, rather than going to their direct website to go to Amazon, you can do it same price. The only difference between their the normal site and then Amazon is that as you can see here, it says it includes up to three items. So veil, jacket, pillow purse, whatever you want. Whereas if you go direct through their website, it's actually five items. Now, I also wanted to go direct to the website because my gown is gonna include that extra fabric from my mother. When I called the um, wedding gown preservation kit direct, they said that they would include it at no cost. So I decided to go direct. It did take a little bit longer to ship to me versus Amazon Prime. You can see that it can, it can deli be delivered real quick, but um, that wasn't super important. I'm not on a time crunch. I've waited five years already, so I think I can wait a couple extra days. So I went through the um, actual website, um, talked to their customer service team. It seemed to be a great, a great process. So next we will check out my wedding dress. Yay, and the box came. I'm super excited to get started with this and move closer to having my wedding dress preserved. As you can see here, here is all the extra fabric and it is a legacy gown. I, when I, decided that I was going to go with my mom's dress. I wanted to make it unique to me as well. So I trimmed off the sleeves. I shortened up the train. So here is all the fabric from it. And I do want to keep it. I think it's great. It's fun um, to have all in one place. If others have legacy gowns with additional fabric they want to keep, this is a great route to go. So as you can see, this is how my dress has been preserved currently. And I've got a, a bag that um, when it was originally cleaned, it came in and then I just have used a under the bed storage box. And I'd I want to do it properly. I want to make sure it doesn't yellow. And so here we go. And here is my wedding dress. I am super excited. I'm just pulling it out, making sure I'm getting all the pieces before I send it off. But here it is. 
and I just love it so much and it makes it so special for me that it was my mom's as well but you can see the train is a lot shorter here and I had forgotten but as I was going through the box I re was reminded that I have this slip that kind of makes my dress more of a ball gown so it poofs out and now that I'm thinking of it I remember I did wear that and I also need that preserved. So um, I called and they said that they can add that into my box. This is a lot of fabric between um, my dress and then this skirt, but I think that that's awesome. And I'm kind of excited to see what the end result is. Okay, so here is the box that I got in the mail and we're gonna open it. Get some scissors. All right, so here is the box. Fill out the order form and alternate delivery card. We ship your gown to your home, neighborhood, work, or family member. Please note the celebrity line upgrade and personalization options. All right, attach any stain stickers to the areas of the gown that may need special attention. Please use only the stickers provided. Other stickers may damage the gown. There's no need to mark the hemline. It is most commonly the soiled area. Okay, and that would most likely be the only area that is on my dress. Place the gown and any accessories in the bag provided. Include white and yellow copies of the order form, alternate delivery card, and payment for additional items in the bag with the gown. Seal the bag and with a twist tie provided. Place the bag in the box. Remove the bottom portion of the UPS shipping label and place it on the back of the pink order form. Keep this pink copy for your records. Okay, close the top of the box with the tape provided. Note, tape provided needs moistening. You may seal the box with your own tape if you prefer. Okay, and there's the order form. So we're just gonna jump into this. Okay, so there is a personalization form here. And it says if I want to add any special text, any photo, any photo with a caption. So that is the customized celebrity option. And I am not gonna do that. So what I'm going to do now is just double check that there are no stains on my wedding dress. And I really, I don't think there is. It's got, it's got a little bit of dirt down at the hemline, but they said that that is the most common area anyway, so they'll take care of that. Yeah, I think we're good. We can just put it in the in the bag. And then here is the bag with all the extra fabric. So I'm just gonna kind of go through this. Okay, and there is all of the extra fabric. Okay, so I have added my order form. I've added my dress, my slip, as well as the extra fabric that I wanted to be included in the preservation. One thing that I did note, and I remember talking to the customer service rep about this, is that the slip is an extra $35. And that makes sense. It's actually a big piece of what needs to be included. So that's gonna be preserved um, and then included in my wedding dress box. It's just an additional $35. So wanted to note that. I filled out the order form, put it in with the dress, um, repackaged that up, and I should be good. So now I'm just going to tape up the box and they provide these um, pieces of tape. They just have to be moistened. So I'm gonna get a little washcloth, get that going and finish this up. UPS to get this sent off. All right, so I'm super excited. My box from Wedding Gown Preservation Co. came today and um, I looked back at my original pink slip from when I dropped off the dress at UPS and it looks like I dropped it off December 29th and right now it's, it's March 3rd. So that kind of gives you an idea of how long it took, just about two months for them to uh, process and clean my dress and then box it up and send it back to me. I am excited to open this and to see what it looks like. One thing to note is 
The UPS will only deliver if someone is at the house. They do give you a section to write in a few of your neighbors just in case you're not home, but they will only deliver if someone is there to accept the package. And thankfully I was here today and so I now have it. Okay, so here's the box. And there we go. Very nice. Look at that. I would say it was very successful. I really, really, really wanted to get this done and this was the year to do it. And now I have it all done.